Well, I think it's time. For those who are new to the channel, this is my BMW E36 3 Series. And to be honest, I don't know, I don't know if it is a 325i or is it 3 I. Like I've said on the previous video that the bonnet doesn't open so we're going to reveal that when we get home. I know some of you are asking themselves why did I buy this car? Well I bought it for the same reason that the German made the BMWs for. To drive it and have an extreme experience with it but the number one thing that I love about this BMW is that it is a rear wheel drive. It's a straight six cylinder it has a manual gearbox. Cars are one of the most reliable cars on the road. Six cylinder cars usually have a great sound because this has a stock muffler. It's a little bit quieter. Just hear that sweet sound. That's one of the reasons why I bought this car. So now let's head home because we need to start fixing the brakes. We are back at home but I never spoke about the reason the car is so cheap is because it has a minor accident at the front. The door molding are missing. The car actually needs paint. The windscreen is damaged. At the top it also shows that it needs paint. It has some cracks here and over here also. And on the interior this part has fallen off. There are pieces there that are missing and from this side. Roof lining is sagging. There are also some pieces that are missing from here. And I don't know if I have mentioned that the car has a problem with the release bearing, with the brakes, steering rack, and I haven't done any service since I bought the car. Now talking, it is time to remove the brakes and replace them with the new ones. So now we got the car jacked up and the wheel removed. In order to remove the brakes, there are two bolts behind this bolt over here and there's another bolt over here. Then we'll have to remove this and this will automatically come out. I'm just gonna push this like this so that it comes out we're going to use one of these to remove the brake replacing the brakes is easy there's just two bolts that we need to remove from the back and then we pry the caliber out i'm going to use a wire to hold the caliber to prevent the brake line from cracking here are our brakes i don't know what i was thinking driving the car without the brakes because looking at the brand new brakes comparing them to mine you can see a big difference. I want to remove the arch lining so that I can see what's hidden behind it because I think this car has a lot of rust. The arch lining is out. As I predicted, there is a lot of rust that was hidden behind the arch lining. I never thought the rust would be this much, but it seems like it is a lot. But it doesn't look like the rust uh, has damaged the car because the rust is still suffix rust. I have decided that I'm going to remove the fender so that we can actually see the full rust and we can remove the rust. And I just remembered that I haven't shown you the engine in this car. Due to the minor accident, to open the bonnet, it requires two people. So I asked my sister to help me. Here is the ultimate engine. This engine from factory used to produce over 189 horsepower in the year 1998 it was one of the most popular engine in the bmws not because it is reliable or it can take punishment but because of its power with that out of my system it's time to remove the fender i have already removed the top four bolts that are holding the fender now i'm going to remove the bottom ones the ones that are holding the fender and the bumper together so the fender is finally out now i'm going to use a drill and a wire brush to remove the rust i'm just going to try to remove all the rust until it is bare metal the aim right now is to make sure that the rust are all removed moving the rust with the drill looks easy but to be honest it's time consuming and it is tiring 
man so this is the best that i can do but i'm still going to go back with the drill and clean it up a little bit more after revisiting some spots that i missed with the drill it's time to use some alcohol and clean the surface up because we're going to be painting it with some pride the main aim is to cover all the surfaces so that the rust will never come back ever again i don't know if primer x is a base coat but i do know that the primer will protect the surface from any future rust I know I didn't use proper machinery to to put on the primer but the main goal was to remove the rust and to prevent any further rust the car will be painted in the future so for now this will do and this is how it came out I decided to go back and do the whole panel at this point I wanted to remove all of the rust and I focused mostly where the rust was at then I applied primer to prevent any future rust for the parts that I needed to cover I think I did not too bad this part I wanted to cover it I wanted to remove the rust and then cover it with primer and that's what I've done this part i just did it just in case because there were some rust over here and a little bit of here and over here as well i was looking at this piece and it looks like i will need to replace this part because this piece is not actually repairable but for the most part i think i'm satisfied with the with the outcome so since i'm not going to be painting the car i'm just going to be leaving it like that so i'm going to go back for the brakes and finish the brakes before i fit the fresh new brakes i'm going to paint the brake calibers just to make the car look good so i hit the caliber with a wire brush just to remove the brake dust off of it and paint the caliber with a spray can that i just found at the back of the house that i used many days ago so i don't have a brake press so and you can see that i have pressed it so what i did I used two screwdrivers first one i placed it like that then i took the second screwdriver and I pushed the other screwdriver down so that it will be able to compress. I did this so that so that it will be much easier to fit the new brakes. Now it's just a matter of putting everything back to its rightful position. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Stay man. The top is so vacant. I don't need shit. I already started with the passenger side and the wheel was giving me a problem. But it looks like this side is okay in terms of rust. But there's only one spot that looks like it needs me to attend it. That part over there, which looks like they had make wheels on this car and it was rubbing. But the person that I bought this car from. It's another person who would change the wheels and put new wheels but you'll never know i checked under here to see if there's any appearing rust i don't see anything but i'm just going to remove the fender liner then we're going to see if there's any rust so it looks like this side we are 100 percent square so yeah which is good Is a similar story even on this side because look at the brakes uh, there's nothing there even the brake sensor is dead what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint this and i'm going to also paint this and i put on the new brakes and i'm going to clean that then i'm going to show you after much 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 later the passenger side is complete the brakes are on and it was easier than the other side because there was no rust on this side and removing the brakes was much easier than the driver's side but we are finally done with the brakes and that's one of the most important part that i needed to do that i was so much delaying but it's finally complete now here it is the new fresh painted brake caliper with the new fresh brakes and sort of a ugly painted part on the car but that is just to protect the car from all the rust or all the possible uh, rust that may 
how many car i do have the the wheels that i showed you the last time i was thinking of fitting them and see how the car will actually look but i think i'm going to spoil it if i do that so now i'm just going to fit back the wheel and i'm going to fit back the fender because on the other side remember we remove the fender too so that we could be able to remove all of the rest and that's what we did and i think we did an exceptional work i'm really proud of the outcome For the most part majority of things are back on the car and now we know that this side is rust free and it is protected for more for five years to come so we know that this side is protected which is also going to be painted the day we're going to paint the whole car but for now that will do and we also changed the brakes from this side from the driver's side we also changed the brakes from the driver's side and the passenger side and i think we did an excellent job which took longer than i expected but at least we were able to introduce at least we were able to introduce the car to the channel and now we're going to be working on it because it has a lot of work that needs to be done and i think i'm ready for that and but, <laughs> not really sure but i think i am ready because as you can see there's a lot of leak there's a leak on the gasket and a service that is needed to be done and uh, the wiring on this car also needs to be done there's a lot of things that need to be done on this car some of them i don't even know them i don't even know them because we haven't yet actually started with the car but to be honest i'm really satisfied with the outcome of this video even though i didn't do more than i, I wanted to but i think if i keep on going the video is going to be longer than what i wanted the video to be but i hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as i did if you want to support the channel hit the subscribe button hit that like button hitting that like button helps the channel a lot helps the channel to grow helps to reach more people if you don't want to subscribe at least hit that like button so that the channel can grow